ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് എല്ലാവർക്കും നമസ്കാരം അപ്പോൾ ഒരു പുതിയ വീഡിയോ വ്ളോഗിലോട്ട് എല്ലാവർക്കും സ്വാഗതം അപ്പോൾ ഒന്ന് ഉഗാണ്ടയിലെ ഒരു കബാക്കിൻ്റെ പാലസ് ഉണ്ട് ഇവിടെ ലുബ്രി പാലസ് എന്ന് അറിയും അവ അതും അവിടുത്തെ കുറച്ച് കാഴ്ചകളാണിന്ന് കാണാൻ പോകുന്നതോ അപ്പോൾ ഞാനൊട്ട് സമയം കളയുന്നില്ല നമുക്ക് നേരെ വീഡിയോയിലോട്ട് പോകട്ടോ ഞാനിപ്പോഴുള്ളത് നമ്മുടെ ലുബിരി മാംഗോയിലുള്ള കബാക്കയുടെ പാലസിൻ്റെ മുന്നിലാണ് എൻ്റെ കൂടെ എൻ്റെ ടൂർ ഗൈഡും മറ്റൊക്കെ ജോയിൻ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ എന്തായാലും ഇവിടുത്തെ പാലസും അതിൻ്റെ ഉള്ളിലെ കാഴ്ചകളാരും ഇന്നത്തെ വീഡിയോയിൽ പ്രത്യേകമായിട്ട് കാണിക്കാൻ പോകുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ ഇതാണ് നമ്മുടെ പാലസും അതിൻ്റെ പ്രിമേസസ് ഒക്കെ കേട്ടോ അതായത് അതിൻ്റെ സ്ഥലങ്ങളും ഗ്രൗണ്ടും മറ്റൊക്കെയാണ് കാണുന്നത് ഞാനിപ്പോൾ ടിക്കറ്റ് പേ ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടി പോവുകയാണ് അപ്പോൾ ഇവരിവിടെ ടിക്കറ്റിന് ചാർജ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് മുപ്പത്തി അയ്യായിരം ഷില്ലിംഗ് ആണ് ഫോറിനേഴ്സിന് ചാർജ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് പിന്നെ ലോക്കൽസിനാണെങ്കിൽ പതിനയ്യായിരം ഷില്ലിംഗ് ഒക്കെയാണ് ഇവർ കൊടുക്കുന്നത് കേട്ടോ അപ്പോൾ എന്തായാലും ഇവരൊക്കെ നമ്മളെ വീഡിയോയിൽ ഉൾപ്പെടുത്തിയിട്ട് ബാക്കി കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ പറയുന്നതായിരിക്കും അപ്പോൾ നമ്മളെ ടിക്കറ്റൊക്കെ കിട്ടിയിട്ടുണ്ട് ടിക്കറ്റിന് ഇവിടെ ചാർജ് വന്നിട്ടുള്ളത് മുപ്പത്തി അയ്യായിരം ഷില്ലിംഗ് ആണ് കേട്ടോ അപ്പോൾ എൻ്റെ കൂടെ ഗൈഡായിട്ട് വരുന്നത് അരിഞ്ഞരി എസ് എം നൂർദീൻ നൂർദീൻ അപ്പോൾ നൂർദീനാണ് നമ്മളെ യാ ഗൈഡായിട്ട് വരുന്നത് നമുക്ക് ഈ കൊട്ടാരത്തിനെ പറ്റിയും ഇവിടുത്തെ സംഭവ വികാസങ്ങളെ പറ്റിയും ഇ ഡി എമ്മിൻ്റെ ടോർച്ചർ ചേംബറിനെ പറ്റിയൊക്കെ മുഴുവൻ ഡീറ്റെയിൽസും എന്തായാലും നൂർദീൻ നമ്മളായിട്ട് പറയുന്നതായിരിക്കും come to mango palace this is the kabakas palace uh -huh. so when you are here in our kingdom buganda yeah here we are called buganda buganda we speak a language called luganda yeah one person is in uganda uh -huh. and many they are called buganda uh -huh. and in a country called uganda. uganda so uganda comes from buganda buganda okay, okay. yeah locally before in our kingdom buganda every king was free to establish his capital wow when you talk about mango palace uh -huh. it was established by daniel mwanga in 1885 okay 1885 apa 1885 il aanu ee palace vada nirmichittullathu apa idana indinde main entrance aayittu varunathu appo ore tourist galakke vannittundu apa idana nammude kabakeda palace aanu kaanu to അടിപൊളി പാലസ് ഒന്നും പറയാനില്ല സൊ ലോക്കാലി ബിഫോർ ഇൻ ഓർ കിങ് ഓഫ് ബുഗാണ്ട എവറി കിങ് വാസ് ഫ്രീ ടു എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ് ഇസ് കപിറ്റൽ മേങ്കോ പാലസ് വാസ് എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ് ബൈ ഡാനിയൽ മുങ്ങ ഇൻ 1885 1885 ഓക്കേ കസ്റ്റോ ഇതോംസ് വെ എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ് ബൈ മുതേസ 1 യാ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇൻ 1882 1882 ദെൻ ദി കറണ്ട് കിങ് എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ് ഹിസ് കപിറ്റൽ ഇൻ ബാണ്ട പാലസ് Banda Palace Banda Palace so every it? king was free to establish his capital okay and in Buganda kingdom when the king is alive we call him kabaka okay when the king, king is, is alive we call apo ivurthe rajav jeevichirikkumbo adeyatha vilikkunna kabaka nanu vilikkunna but when the king passes away the name changes and he becomes sekabaka sekabaka okay apo ivurthe rajav merichu kenyale ivurthe rajavine avaru vilikkunnathu sekabaka nanu apo kabaka passes when the king dies yeah the name changes and he becomes sekabaka sekabaka when he is alive we call him kabaka okay in buganda kingdom the first son of the king never become a king okay he just becomes a family caretaker Oh, so he, the, the Jew, first one he the first son becomes the family Kaya taker not a so, king not a king so oh. they choose from other sons of the king okay if the king doesn't have a son they go to the close brothers or cousins okay let us get, come back to Mwanga Mwanga the palace was established by Daniel Mwanga in oh. 1885 80 1885 1885 okay mm. he ascended to the throne in 1884 uh -huh. and in 1885 he decided to establish his capital okay in 1886 our king Mwanga he ordered the digging of the largest man made lake mm -hmm. oh he where by where by he called upon the clans of Baganda okay. to come out and dig this lake okay. the purpose of building this lake was to act as an escape corridor escape corridor of any attacks and the king he also wanted to connect it to lake victoria of which mm -hmm. baganda people failed because we are, some many baganda were using rudimentary tools in digging this lake mm -hmm. in 1894 buganda kingdom and the rest of uganda became a british protectorate okay and in 1899 mm -hmm. our king mwanga declared their war against the british because mm -hmm. in in 1897 him said if he wanted to know the position of his kingdom in the british of which the british they were giving orders and mwanga was also giving orders mm -hmm. so what our king did in 1899 he declared the war against this british which lasted for two weeks and mwanga was defeated he was oh. captured by the british and taken to sessions island do you know sessions sessions island i have heard about it <coughs> 
So when he was in Seychelles, he met a group of Anglican people. They told him that Moanga, we know that you are a king from Boganda, mm -hmm. but would you like us to take you back to your kingdom? Kingdom, okay. Moanga accepted, but it was on condition how to first baptize you. Okay. Our king Moanga was baptized and they named him Daniel. Daniel, okay. For the, themselves, they just lied him. Before he was, they his lied name was him. Been they Mwanga. never brought. He was Moanga, okay. Yeah. But he had. He never had that name of Daniel. Daniel, okay. So okay. He, after being baptized by the Anglicans, mm. they named him Daniel. So these people, they lied to him. They never brought him back to his kingdom. He died in Seychelles in 1903, and it took a period of seven years to repatriate back his remains. Okay. His remains were brought back in Uganda in 1910, and he was taken to the royal castle return. Daniel Mwanga died in Seychelles in 1903, and 1903. 1903, and it took a period of seven years to repatriate back his remains. Okay. His remains were brought back in Uganda in 1910, and he was taken to the royal Kasubi tombs. Okay. You know we have Kasubi tombs; they act as burial ground to the kings of Buganda. Mm -hmm. When the king passed away, we take okay. him to Kasubi. Kasubi, and there are four remains. There are four remains of the, the four past kings. That is Mutesa one, Daniel Mwanga. Uh, Sekabaka Dawidi Chua and also Sekabaka Edward Mutesa II, who yeah. was the first president of Uganda. Okay. Daniel Mwanga was succeeded by his son, that is Sekabaka Dawidi Chua. You can call him King David. King David. His father left him when he was one year. And since he was still young, he was given three agents to look after him until the time of coronation. He was given Zakaya Singli, Stanislas Mogwanya, and Saapro Kagwa. Our king. Dawudi Chua, he was the first Ikabaka to go to Europe countries in 1913 at the age of 17 years old. Locally wow. before, in our kingdom of Uganda, it was a taboo for the girls to eat eggs and chicken. Wow, girls it was a taboo? Yeah, it was a taboo for the girls to eat eggs and chicken. Do you know why? For that, the kingdom time. Mm. But do you know why? Yeah. These Baganda people thought that whenever girls eat eggs and chicken, they would become infertile and couldn't be able to produce. Oh, produce okay. So when our king visited Europe, he saw the girls there, they eat eggs and chicken, they're okay. When he returned back to his kingdom, he just permitted the Baganda girls to start eating eggs and chicken. Chicken, okay. Our king in 1914, he was the first Kabaka to have his official marriage at St. Paul Nanembe Cathedral. 1914. Okay, he have his own cathedral. Namirembe Cathedral is for the Anglican Namirembe in. We do have a uh, Mirembe name. Mirembe. Mirembe means peace. peace. So now Mirembe is for the Anglicans. And when you visit Gaddafi Mosque, when you go to the top of the tower to the minaret, you are able to see the seven hills of Kampala. Yeah, I have and seen. And Mirembe Hill is Namirembe Hill is where you find Namirembe Cathedral for the Anglicans. Okay. Mm. Our king, Dawudi Chua, he was also the first FIFA president. That is Federation of Uganda Football Association in 1924. So he was good in foot, playing football. Oh, David Mwanga. Uh, no, this King David, Dawudi Chua. Yeah. Okay, David Chua. Dawudi Chua. Okay. His father is Mwanga. Okay. Dawudi Mwanga died, died in Seychelles. Okay. So he was the first FIFA president, Dawudi Chua, in 1924. In 1922, mm -hmm. our king got a chance to visit London. London, okay. And he visited Buckingham Palace for King George. Do you know Buckingham? Buckingham, yeah. Mm -hmm. So after visiting Buckingham, he came back with a new modern idea. The local or the original palace of his father, Daniel Mwanga, was made up of reeds, elephant grass, and trees. So after visiting Buckingham, he came back with a new modern idea. He came with a new modern idea, mm -hmm. okay. Of, make, of building the palace with the bricks, okay. cement, you know. Now he is the one who made all this he modernized. He constructed in, the, in a modern way. Yeah, modern 1922 way. up to 1933. Yeah, I can see the building looks like from Europe, actually. Yeah, exactly, it was a period of 11 years. The architecture and everything. but. Uh, Unfortunately, I have no access to go inside to show you mm. what is going on there. But yeah. all in all, we just stopped from outside, but it's a Kabakas palace and the modern building was first built by Dawli Chua. Okay. Yeah, that was from 1922 up to 1933. Okay. Our king died, died because of diabetes. Oh, yeah, by diabetes. 1939. 90? 1939. Okay, I told you that he was born in the middle of the day, but he was born in the middle of the day. And he was also taken to the royal castle with tombs called the actors' burial grounds, graveyards. Okay. So, he was born in the castle with tombs, and he was born in the middle of the day, and he was born in the middle of the day. So, our king Dawdi Chua, he was succeeded by his son, that is Sekabaka Edward D. Walugembe, Frederick Mutesa II. Okay. His father, when after the person after the death of his father, King Freddy was lucky. 
He studied at King's College Budo. Mm -hmm. He went to Cambridge University and he graduated in political science. Wow. He That's spent great. most of his time in Europe and most of his friends they could shorten his name instead of calling calling him Frederick and they call him Freddy. So Freddy, he yeah. was King Freddy. They yeah. could call him King Freddy. King Freddy, okay. Mm. The time he returned back in Uganda, African countries were trying to struggle to gather independence. And in Uganda, people were trying to struggle to gather independence. Yeah, yeah. Our king joined mm. them by then for himself. Who mean now? The Freddy. King Freddy, 1961. 1961. And successfully, Uganda got her independence. Yeah. That was in 1962. He was elected to be the first constitutional president of Uganda from 1963 up to 66. Okay. But some people were annoyed. Yeah, yeah. Seeing their king turning into a political figure. Yeah, yeah. It's they okay. just wanted to see their king a king, not a president. To be removed. So he, he was, they just wanted to see their king a king, not a president. Not a politician. So he was both a king and at the and same a time a president. Yeah, yeah. Our king had his best friend. By then he was called Dr. Apollo Milton Obote. Yeah, Milton Obote. Obote. was a good friend to the king. Yeah. And during his time, he was the prime minister. When the king For was the president, he was the prime minister. Of Uganda, yeah. And Obote had his party, it was called UPC. That is UPC. Uganda, People, Uganda People's Congress. Okay. And the king also had his party, it was called Kabaka Yukao Kings Only. Okay. These two parties between Kabaka and Yuka were conflicting. They were colliding every day, every time, every day, every time. Kabaka and uh, Milton Obote. Kabaka Yuka and UPC for UPC. Obote. Yeah, okay. So what Obote did, Obote ordered Idi Amin to attack the palace. The palace was attacked when the king was inside here. Oh, he was been here. The then. royal guards were killed. Okay. People from the royal family killed. And our king had to jump the fence. Oh. He had to defending himself against the soldiers of Idi Amin. No, the other one I show you. He jumped okay. the fence. Okay. He used the Kabaka's lake as an escape route. Okay. Went to Raga Cathedral, hid there for one night, and later flew to London, London. Where, he was, where he was poisoned. And, and he we, was poisoned from he was London. Was poisoned on his birthday. He from was, London. From London. Wow. He was making 45 years. Okay. So he was poisoned, and up to now we Baganda from us, we still say that our king was poisoned by the agents of Obote. Because when Obote became the second president of Uganda from 60, 6 up to 71, Obote abolished kingdoms. Okay. Obote never wanted to bring back the remains of King Freddy. Mm -hmm. And also Obote turned this palace into a military barracks. For this place, he has turned into military, military barracks. barracks. Okay. I'll show you the quarters outside there. Okay. So this was in form of betraying each other. And even Obote had gone for official meetings in Singapore. Mm -hmm. And when Idi Amin was from the war, he was told that Obote wants to jail you for embezzling for stealing the army's funds. Mm -hmm. So what Obote did, what Idi Amin did, he went to Radio Uganda after being told that Obote wants to jail him. He went to Radio Uganda and declared himself the president of Uganda. Oh, Idi Amin. Idi Amin. So he okay. was the, the third, third pre president. He was the third president of Uganda from 1971 to 1979. Yeah, 71 okay. to 79, yeah. Yeah, 71 to 79. Okay. And when we talk about the current king, the current king is the son of King Freddy. Currently, the king, is, the king is 67 years old. Now the, the king, king is called 67 the... years old. And he's called he's Freddy. Called Kabaka Ronald Mwenda Mutewi. We call him Kabaka because he's Kabaka. still alive. Yeah, yeah. He's still so alive. it's Kabaka Ronald Mwenda Mutewi. I told you that he stays when in Banda. When he dies, we call him Sebaka. Se Se Kabaka. Se Kabaka. Okay. So the king stays in Banda, the king is having five children, three girls and two boys. Okay. And one official wife that is Nawagay Kaslivia Najinda. They are still in Banda. And our king is not political. He comes here for ceremonial activities. Okay. Yeah, they can time meeting the prime minister time on his birthday. Mm -hmm. But ceremonial activities basically. Okay. Mm -hmm. Above Norbury no the Muven Charitran to Palace in the Muven Charitrana, nor the Reparnia Natalode, Namada Manohara Maitala, Uganda Palasani Kanada, where a European style Lana is in the Michigan Okay, so take your eyes it is the, in front of you. That's what you call a royal mile. Wow, well, this road. Hmm. Okay. This is what you call a royal mile. It is a one mile from the Uganda Parliament to the King's Palace. Okay. It is made up of two roundabouts. The first, the first one is inside and another one is outside. Okay. Only the king goes to it. Oh, so, so from here from to here, king go to, to direct to that uh, direct to the Parliament. Uh -huh. Where is the flat building? Wow. So that's the Uganda Parliament. Oh, what and we can see the there. Palace. Okay. Yeah. 
made up of two roundabouts. Uh -huh. The first one is inside and another one is outside. outside okay. So other officials, they just turn around the roundabout, but only the king goes straight. Why? For us in Buganda, you say that our king is ever straight in all what he's doing. Okay. That's why he goes straight. In Buganda, we call our king to be the lion. Lion, okay. Lion, that's why I can see, see the monuments of the lion everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And it, I told you that three kings of Buganda stayed here. That is Daniel Mwanga, Daudi Chua, and King Freddy. King Freddy, okay. King Freddy. When you take your eyes on the hill, three kings of Buganda, they had their marriages there. Uh -huh. That is Daudi Chua, King Freddy, and the current king in 1989. Which one? That, uh... that is the Cathedral. It is for the Anglicans. Okay. Daudi Chua, I, I still, I think you remember in 1913. Yeah, yeah. 19. In 1914, he got his marriage at the Mlembe Cathedral, uh -huh. King Freddy, uh -huh. and also the current king in 1999. Okay. So from here, mm -hmm. we are going to see the Idi Amini's canony. 